హాయ్ వ్యూవర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రీధర్ రెడ్డి ఎల్పేది అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ ఉమెన్ నల్గొండ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ శ్రీ క్వాంటమ్ అకాడమీ ఫీల్ ద ఫిజిక్స్ అట్ గ్లాన్స్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ విత్ యూ సింపుల్ హార్మోనిక్ మోషన్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు వాచ్ మై వీడియో ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ ఇఫ్ యూ నాట్ ఎడ్ అండ్ అండ్ ప్రెస్ బెలైకన్ టు గెట్ లేటెస్ట్ అప్డేట్స్ సింపుల్ హార్మోనిక్ మోషన్ ఈజ్ ఎ స్పెషల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ పిరియాడిక్ మోషన్ ఇన్ విచ్ బాడీ ఎక్స్క్యూట్స్ టు అండ్ ఫ్రో మోషన్ అబౌట్ ఎ ఫిక్స్డ్ పాయింట్ దట్ ఫిక్స్డ్ పాయింట్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో కాల్ మెయిన్ పొజిషన్ ఆర్ ఆర్ ఈక్విలిబ్రియం పొజిషన్ అండ్ ద రీస్టోరింగ్ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ద బాడీ ఈజ్ ఆల్వేస్ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు ద డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ అండ్ ఇట్ యాక్ట్స్ టువర్డ్స్ ద మెయిన్ పొజిషన్ సో సింపుల్ హార్మోనిక్ మోషన్ మీన్స్ బాడీ షుడ్ ఎక్స్క్యూట్ to and fro motion about a fixed point that means it has to move towards and away from a fixed point that is first one number two is it should be periodic in motion that means it has to repeat its motion after a particular time interval and third one is the restoring force which is acting on the body is always proportional to the displacement and it acts towards the mean position and next one acceleration is also proportional to the displacement in opposite direction a proportional to minus x if the motion satisfies these conditions then it's said to be simple harmonic motion so proper definition for simple harmonic motion is a special type of periodic motion in which body executes to and fro motion about a fixed point or about a mean position and the restoring force act on the body is always directly proportional to the displacement and it is opposite in direction that type of motion is called simple harmonic motion next equation of motion of simple harmonic oscillator what is the equation which describes the motion of simple harmonic oscillator generally this is a body which is executing simple harmonic motion about a fixed point or equilibrium position o now body is moving away and towards from the mean position o let the displacement at any instant of time is x since it is simple harmonic motion the displacement is always proportional to the restoring force that means f proportional to minus x if i remove proportionality i have to put a constant then f is equal to minus kx this is equation number 1 what is k here k is restoring force constant or simply proportionality constant from that equation you can write k is equal to f by x so definition for k is force per unit displacement so k is defined as proportionality constant is defined as force acting per unit distance or unit length right now so equation 1 is f is equal to minus kx but actually according to newton second law what is newton second law f is equal to ma what is a acceleration acceleration means the rate of change of velocity dv by dt but what is v velocity velocity means rate of change of displacement dx by dt so if i substitute that one then acceleration can be written as d square x by dt square now according to newton's second law f is equal to m d square x by dt square this is equation 2 now from equation 1 and 2 you can write left hand sides are equal so i can make right hand sides also equal if i do that m d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx that implies d square x by dt square is equal to minus k by m into x let here k is force constant m is mass both are constants let us put k by m is equal to omega naught square then d square x by dt square plus k by m means omega naught square now my equation becomes d square x by dt square plus omega naught square x is equal to 0 this is called equation of motion of a simple harmonic motion this is the 
equation of a body which is executing simple harmonic oscillations right next next e solution for simple harmonic motion this is the equation of motion d square x by dt square plus omega naught square x is equal to zero this is the equation of motion of a body which is executing simple harmonic motion now my question is if this is the equation then what is the solution if this is the equation then what is the solution to understand about solution let us discuss very simple example in mathematics let us suppose x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the equation which i have given to you now tell me what is the solution for this one what you will do just you try to put plus 1 let us check whether left hand side and right hand sides are equal or not no if it is not then put plus 2 plus 3 in the same way minus 1 minus 2 this is what trial and error method if you substitute minus 1 then left side and right side are equal so now you can say directly x is equal to minus 1 is the solution for this equation so simply what is solution solution means if i substitute this solution in that given equation i should get left hand side is equal to right hand side now tell me if this is my equation d square x by dt square plus omega naught square x is equal to 0 if this is my equation then what is the solution now let us use same trial and error method like let us assume some solution and check whether it is satisfying left side is equal to right side or not okay so let us try first let us assume the solution for above equation is x is equal to a e power alpha t let us assume the solution for given shm equation is x is equal to a e power alpha t where a and alpha are constants a is amplitude and alpha is an arbitrary constant we have to find out that values okay now this assumption is correct that means if x is equal to a e power alpha t is proper solution for above equation then if i substitute this equation in above i should get left side is equal to right side na let me check whether it is satisfying or not to substitute this one what i have to do i have to apply d square x by dt square that means i have to differentiate twice this equation x is equal to a e power alpha t let us differentiate once with respect to t dx by dt dx by dt is equal to d by dt of what is x x is equal to a e power alpha t right if x is equal to a e power alpha t then a is constant put it outside then d by dt of e power alpha t differentiation with respect to t so e power alpha t if i differentiate i will get again e power alpha t into d by dt of alpha t i will get alpha there so if i differentiate with respect to t then i will get a e power alpha t into alpha now again differentiate with respect to t that means d square x by dt square that is equal to d by dt of a alpha e power alpha t a and alpha are constants put them outside now differentiation with respect to t d by dt of e power alpha t again what i will get same e power alpha t into alpha that means d square x by dt square is equal to a alpha into alpha e power alpha t that means a alpha square e power alpha t okay now substitute this one in equation 3 now x means from equation 4 x is equal to a e power alpha t now d square x by dt square is equal to a alpha square e power alpha t if i substitute these two values in equation 3 then what i will get a alpha square e power alpha t plus omega naught square x x means a e power alpha t is equal to 0 take common a is common and e power alpha t is common then a e power alpha t if i take common then what i will get alpha square plus omega naught square 
is equal to 0. Take out this a e power alpha t that side, then what I will get? Alpha square plus omega naught square is equal to 0, that implies alpha square is equal to minus omega naught square, that implies alpha is equal to under root minus omega alpha is equal to under root minus omega naught square minus 1 is i square. So, alpha is equal to plus or minus i omega naught that means the values of alpha are 2 one is plus i omega naught and another one is minus i omega naught. If there are two solutions for alpha then my final assumption for the displacement x can be c 1 e power alpha 1 t and c 2 e power alpha 2 t, where alpha 1 alpha 2 are solutions, one is plus i omega naught, another one is minus i omega naught. So, final solution I can assume x is equal to c 1 e power plus i omega naught t plus c 2 e power minus i omega naught t. But actually what is e power i theta cos theta plus i sin theta, right? If I elaborate that one, x is equal to c 1 cos omega naught t plus i sin omega naught t plus c 2 e power minus i theta means cos theta minus i sin theta, right? So, c 2 into cos omega naught t minus i sin omega naught t multiply c 1 and c 2 inside then what I will get c 1 cos omega naught t to i c 1 sin omega naught t plus c 2 cos omega naught t minus i c 2 sin omega naught t that implies take common cos omega naught t in this one and sin omega naught t in that one then what I will get x is equal to c 1 plus c 2 cos omega naught t plus i into c 1 minus c 2 sin omega naught t. In above equation c 1 c 2 constants no. So, so let us put c 1 plus c 2 is equal to capital A sin theta and i into c 1 minus c 2 is equal to A cos theta. If I put like that then substitute these two values then x is equal to c 1 plus c 2 means a sin theta cos omega t plus j into c 1 minus c 2 that means a cos theta that means a cos theta sin omega naught t that implies if I take common a x is equal to a into sin theta cos omega naught t plus cos theta sin omega naught t this is some, something like cos a sin b plus sin a cos b that is equal to sin a plus b is not it. So, x is equal to a into sin omega naught t plus phi this is the solution for the equation of simple harmonic oscillator. So, equation for motion is d square x by dt square plus omega naught square x is equal to 0 for that equation solution is x is equal to a sin omega t naught t x is equal to a sin omega naught t plus theta.